What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, I'm in a bit of a different setting today. Shout out to Noah Herman for letting me use his space to film today's video. We honestly have a lot to cover today and I was really hoping Apple would have solved this issue by now, but they haven't. These iPhones right here are deliberately being killed by Apple and let me explain why. This is the iPhone SE first generation, the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. Two things that all three of these phones have in common is that one, they're all running iOS 9 and two, they all share the same Apple A9 chip and as you guys can see, Apple is no longer activating iOS 9 on these devices. No matter how many times you try or how many different SIM cards you use, it just won't activate. And it's really weird how this only affects a very limited number of devices if you end up factory resetting these phones or forgetting the passcode like I did. I know, I'm sorry. Then yeah, you're pretty much out of luck. I don't think you guys know how much of a tragedy this is. I mean, no shade to Rohit, but like, um, like he said, he forgot the passcode on this and he can't reinstall um, a new version of iOS on it for whatever reason, but he wouldn't want to anyway because this was running again, I think it was like 9.3. Um, because, you know, this is like a Galapagos situation. Like you have to have this phone non-updated for what is it now? I mean, this came out in 2015. That's 2015 to 2016, 16 to 17, 17 to 18, 18 to 19, 19 to 20, 20 to 21, 2022, 20 to 23. That's like eight years, eight, nine years of being off the grid, so to speak, as every iPhone is updated. So you have to keep this like just completely out of the way, away from Apple's updates, which are just so pervasive because they make you update every year. I just looked through 5,000 listings on eBay every single one of them. And there's not one iOS 9 one that I can distinguish. Not one. You get so lucky if you find one of these on like Mercari or something. I think I found this on Mercari or like eBay or something. Some old lady had this. I mean, you have to be like really special to not update your iPhone because they make it so easy. So this is like a needle in a haystack and Rohit locked himself out of his, which is the reason why he flew all the way to Michigan so we could use mine, but no, no, not really. We just wanted to hang out and collab. But like this device like is probably my favorite iPhone simply because it is so incredibly hard to find. So if you can find one by all means, but um, you know, me and Rohit are on top of that. So you gotta compete with us. We're nuts about this stuff, but um, oh, I just opened up Doodle Jump. Um, anyway, that's my two cents. <laughs> Now, the reason as to why this happens is still completely unknown to the public. There have been rumors on Reddit stating that it has to do with iOS 9 having an illegal amount of cellular interference. Again, take these with a grain of salt. It's definitely a really weird rumor. But like I said, these are just rumors among a few Apple collectors in the community. Nothing has been confirmed by Apple. Another rumor is that the 2018 so-called Apple downgrade party caused an activation issue with iOS 9 activation servers. So back in 2018, Apple accidentally signed every single iOS version for around 30 minutes and people could essentially downgrade all of their iPhones back down to their original iOS. Some rumors say that this event caused an issue with the original activation servers for iOS 9 due to too many people trying to activate at once but it doesn't really explain why this issue only affects A9 devices. Now, if we date back to 2018, this is actually when people started reporting this issue and as time went by, it's gotten quite a bit of attention by other YouTubers as well. I think some people often forget just how buttery smooth iOS 9 was on these devices. It was really optimized so well for these iPhones and fortunately, Apple does not want us to experience that anymore. Now, if you're among the very few people who are fortunate to get their hands on an iPhone SE or an iPhone 6S and iOS 9, keep these devices on airplane mode. This is really important because sometimes activation tickets expire and your phone will just be stuck on this continuous activation loop. Oh, and I also don't recommend keeping Wi-Fi on. In the past, I was able to use my 6S Plus on Wi-Fi, but it's honestly risky and I do not recommend it. You also definitely don't want to keep a SIM card in this device. Avoid all cellular connectivity if possible. And the one thing that I haven't really mentioned yet 
is that this issue doesn't necessarily affect every single iPhone. For example, when I got this iPhone 6S Plus, the actual listing of this phone showed the setup screen. So in my mind, I was thinking, this phone could never activate again. However, I was wrong when I received the phone. The seller sent it pre-activated to me, and that got me thinking, maybe some of these phones can actually be activated if they're locked to a specific carrier. In my case, the iPhone 6S Plus should have been locked to AT&T according to the original listing, but when I received it, it was already activated with a T-Mobile SIM card, meaning it had to have been unlocked but yeah, this is honestly one of the weirdest things that I've ever seen with an iPhone. So it's like Apple really doesn't want us to use iOS 9 anymore and experience that operating system on these devices for whichever arbitrary reason they have. But luckily, Noah has a rose gold iPhone 6S on iOS 9 that's already activated. And man, it really doesn't get any better than that. But yeah, one thing to remember with these devices is that they can still technically be updated to the latest iOS version. In this case, iOS 15. But like I mentioned, you probably shouldn't update it if you're a collector because, well, it's no longer gonna be considered rare. And who knows, maybe Apple might come out with a fix to this in the future. But yeah, who knows if that's ever gonna happen. But yeah, it's honestly just sad that Apple has essentially killed these beautiful Apple devices. Kind of a shame we can't really activate them anymore. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. And if you're in the market for an activated iPhone SC on iOS 9, check the link in the description box below. I bought mine directly through the seller and he seems to have quite a few in inventory. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Noah Herman's channel as well. Shout out to him for letting me use his beautiful space as you guys can see here. And definitely check out his video. I'll definitely have the links down below in the description box. But anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out this video and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.